One of the many joys of fighting game peripherals is being able to mod them, and boy do I enjoy that part of it too. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all these different joysticks that you can mod yours with. Stick around. Welcome back Button Club members to another review video here on the channel. I hope you all are doing well. I just wanna say thank you again for all the love, positivity that you've been giving the channel so far in your likes, views, comments. Don't forget to share these videos with people that you think that might be interested to help grow this channel to almost a thousand subs. Let's get us there. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about levers, particularly Japanese levers, and some of the small time options that are available for you today, okay? So what I have here in my hands in the center of this table, this ever so loved Sanwa JLF. This thing is renowned for its modding abilities with different actuators, springs, and gates. Um, and it's also really revered for its how smooth it is to operate and actuate and you'll find this in basically every arcade stick that you know is, is actually worth owning, I would say, and in so many Japanese uh, arcade cabinets and, and what have you. So this being the standard for what we've known, okay? Now, there's no need to really go into too much detail with this because like I've said, this is everyone's favorite, most notarized joystick on the market. But after 30 years of being in production from Sanwa's uh, you know, factory, they recently came out with this. This is the Sanwa JLX, okay? And while it looks more or less the same, there are very subtle differences between both of these joysticks or levers, okay? One of the first things that they decided to change was the body here on the black. If we compare the two here in the same shot, you can see this one in my left hand, you're right at home, is the JLX and this one over here being the JLF. So the body construction has been changed, okay? You can see that there's a lot more body on this one than there is on the JLF here, okay? One of the other main differences is not only that there is more body here for stability and rigidity, but also the, uh, the plastic compound that makes this up is a lot more solid, okay? And then one of the other things that it offers is this white actuator here. This white actuator is available with the Sanwa upgrade kit that you can buy, which will come with several different actuators and springs. This is only slightly larger than the black actuator that comes on the JLF, like ever so slightly larger, okay? Uh, what that is going to do is that is going to shorten the time or the distance that the stick has to travel in order to actuate onto those contacts within the, the, uh, the lever, okay? And like I said, it's only a little bit bigger in here, so the difference is almost not really noticeable. So when the Sanwa JLX came out, we were very excited because like I said, after 30 years of this being the standard, Sanwa finally decided to make some small improvements on the joystick. So we picked one of these up, myself, and shout outs to Tomlet, Button Club uh, member and one of our favorite random select players and Dalsum players. So we both picked up one of these and put it in our current arcade sticks and he was very unimpressed, okay? He said that the differences were extremely minimal, okay? And I would have to agree with him. Had I not known that I had just replaced the JLF with the JLX, I might not have even noticed anything, okay? Knowing that I did switch it out, I did find it to be what they said. I did find it to be a little more rigid when we were actuating and hitting against the gate. I thought that that felt a little more solid compared to the JLF. And I also did find it ever so slightly smoother uh, here at the pivot point, okay? But if this, if the Sanwa JLF is, is the standard, right? Let's say, you know, if we're, not that these are official grades, right? But let's just talk about point value and how much better this is. If this is a four, the JLF is a four, I think the JLX is like a 4.2 or something, okay? It's just ever so slightly better. The price difference is super minimal, so I don't feel like you need to have a JLX or feel like, well, I just bought a brand new arcade stick and it comes with the JLF and I, I better upgrade to the JLX real quick because it is so much better. I don't really think that's super necessary, especially if what you just purchased comes with a brand new JLF. 
There's nothing wrong with either one of these, but I think when you are purchasing something, you kind of want to feel a difference, right? With that being said, maybe their intention was to not stray too far off the road of what the JLF is, okay? I do believe that if the JLX came out and was significantly different than the previous JLF, people might not like it. People might say, no, this is too different. This is too off brand. I don't like it. Uh, I think I'll just stick with you know the JLF and then this would the, the, the JLX would get completely skipped over. So in that sense, I do understand why they didn't make a huge drastic change into the JLX. But when you're buying something, like I said, you kind of want to really, really feel the difference. And I just don't know how well this hits the mark on the difference between this and the JLF, okay? A little smoother, a little more rigid. At the end of the day, nothing really to write home about, okay? So what do you do in this situation? You're looking to really make a big difference, a big change in your current arcade stick setup. What's the best thing to do? You're completely torn, right? Well, I'd like to also show you this next product. This product has been out for a little while now and I've actually had this purchased before we even had the JLX. And this is a, either an upgrade that you can get for your JLF or JLX, or you can buy it completely put together. So this is the Auto DIY Sanwa JLF upgrade kit, okay? And you can already buy, tell, you can already look at the big major difference here on the joystick, okay? Now it's not just white for aesthetic purposes, okay? This white is a completely different plastic compound that is a Teflon uh, plastic basically, okay? Why this is so much better than what we've been using previously is because this does what they intended the JLX to do, but I think a lot better. I think the Teflon is more rigid than the plastic that comes on the JLX. And I also think that the, the, the auto DIY version is a lot smoother. One of the reasons why it's smoother is because now this, this feature here isn't part of the auto DIY. This is just a detachable link that we've put on here because I took this directly out of one of my arcade sticks here. But if you look inside here in the pivot, the pivot and bowl that is inside of the, uh, the, the auto DIY is also Teflon which creates a nearly frictionless uh, movement when using the, the joystick, okay? On top of it being almost frictionless, you never have to take this apart to re-grease it, re-lube it, or do any type of maintenance. Because it's Teflon on Teflon, it'll stay forever smooth and you'll never work out the pivot to the point where that grease has broken down or worn out or dried up after all these years. So the maintenance on the auto DIY upgrade is minimal if anything, okay? What's also really cool about the auto DIY version is that if you really wanted to, you could pick up a, um, a steel bowl for the pivot to sit into, okay? Which this one actually has, okay? So it's not Teflon on Teflon like I mentioned in this one, in this one in particular. This one is Teflon on a uh, steel bowl, okay? So that I think mimics slightly more to the Sanwat JLF feel. It has a little more drag to it. I actually prefer the Teflon on Teflon version of the Auto DIY and I think that's so much better. And like we said, the, the Teflon plastic over here, because like you really have to take this thing apart in order to um, get the, uh, the, the new Auto DIY version on there. Uh, but like I also said, you can also buy it complete. So the Auto DIY comes in at like $30. We picked this up for 30 bucks on ArcadeShock.com if you want just the upgrade kit. And then if you want it already pre-built with a Sanwa, you're looking at like 60 bucks, okay? Which, as we always talk about on the channel, is a little bit more pricey than what these are. I'm pretty sure it's 20 bucks for the JLF and $25 for the JLX, so not a huge price increase. This is a lot more of a price increase, but I feel that the quality is night and day. You've all been on the channel with us for a little bit, so you know that we've been uh, really in love with our Victrix Pro FS. And you know, that came with the Sanwa JLF. The JLX was released, so we figured we wanted to do a review on it here on the channel for you guys. So we picked one up. After a few weeks of using it, I'm like, man, this still just really isn't 
hitting the way I feel like it should. It's, it's just not a major, major upgrade. So I pulled one of these out of an existing arcade stick that I had and put it into the, uh, the Victrix. And I was like, yeah, this is it. This is the smoothness, the, uh, the, the free movability that I was really looking for is all available here on the Auto DIY, okay? Now, when you pick these up, what's also really cool is it comes with um, several gates, okay? It comes with a square gate, an octagon gate, which is pretty standard. And then what I have on here, if you wanna zoom back in, this is called a Squirkle Gate, okay? This is what they've named it, Squirkle. And basically what it is, it's the classic square gate, but with rounded edges. So it's a lot smoother to transition with your, um, you know, your fireballs, your half circles and everything like that. It's a little bit easier and smoother to wrench around rather than hitting more sharper 90 degree corners in the square gate, okay? Um, so yeah, if you're looking for, this is kind of like a good blend of square and octagon in all honesty, because it's smooth, but yet you still keep the actuation of your cardinal directions the same distance rather than, you know, octagon gate, everything is the same distance, but a lot further away. Speaking of further away, when you purchase the auto DIY edition, it comes with three different actuators. Um, each one larger than the last and the smallest one is actually larger than a one millimeter jump from the standard um, actuator that comes on your JLF, okay? That is my biggest complaint about the auto DIY setup, okay? It's my least favorite actuators. Those actuators never stay in. The smallest actuator that it comes with feels enormous and it feel like it just has to just twitch a little bit and it's already actuated. Um, and I kind of just didn't like that. When you are rocking an octagon gate, I would find that even their smallest oversized actuator would initiate the contact before the actuator was fully into the, um, the groove or the indentation that is uh, part of the gate. So it kind of felt a little false and the timing was a little different when I thought I was you know, let's say doing quarter circle back, I'm actually all the way fully to back before I feel the groove of the gate. Uh, I hope that makes sense, you know? So while I was enjoying the auto DIY setup, I ended up just using the Kowal oversized actuator on the inside, the one millimeter. Um, it's not Teflon. The ones that they give you are the same Teflon you know, material that the entire body is made out of, which makes it feel really smooth. But like I said, I just did not enjoy how large that actuator felt and it kind of made things feel even a little bit worse, let alone their largest actuator when you go all the way up. It just felt just felt humongous in there, you know? Uh, no pun intended. So being that this is a lot more expensive but a worthy upgrade, I would have to give the Auto DIY a 4.8 out of five button club buttons as a recommendation. If you are looking to upgrade your, your, the feel of your joystick currently, maybe you've had one that's all worn out, maybe you just wanna try something different, I think the Auto DIY is gonna give you everything that you need and then some. It comes with a lot of options, it feels a whole lot smoother than even the, you know, the, the new Sanwa JLX, and it's not really breaking the bank for what it is. You know, If you look at the price of some of the Korean levers, or, uh, or other things that are on the option uh, you know, that you could pick up. I think the Auto DIY actually does everything it's supposed to and, and feels really, really comfortable. And I would highly recommend it. There's still one currently in my Victrix Pro Fight Stick. And, um, and yeah, you can pick up one for yourself at arcadeshock.com if you're interested. If you end up buying one or you know, if you have a Sanwa JLX, Comment down below, let me know what you think of the JLX. Is it a big improvement for you? Did you notice a lot of changes? Do you have an auto DIY setup and how are you enjoying it, okay? All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this review video on some Japanese style levers. I hope you've enjoyed it and found the information useful. Um, please comment down below if you have one of these in your own possession, what you think of them. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed yourself. Subscribe if you wanna catch more of our content. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, keep pressing them buttons.